Greetings! I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. I'm on the Odyssey of the Seas. I'm going to do a full tour. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. This tour is going to be awesome. We're going to take it deck by deck. We're going to take a look at all of the major venues of the ship. This is Jason here. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start at the main area down here on the lower decks. We're going to start off right here midship on deck four and five. Let's take a look at Boleros. Boleros is right here on deck four. It's a lively venue with lots of music and dancing. And because it's right here midship and there are a lot of other venues that are around it, you constantly hear the music and the dancing and the fun throughout the entire cruise coming from this area. So it kind of draws you in. You're always going to kind of look in and see what's happening in Boleros. And look at this. Right next to Boleros, right here almost directly in the center is Starbucks. Starbucks is a la carte. It's not included in your cruise fare, but check this out. If you have the deluxe beverage package or the refreshment package, it's included in those packages. Now, if you don't have one of those packages and you'd like some coffee, right across the way here is Cafe Promenade. They have delicious snacks throughout the entire cruise. Depending on what time of day it is, they'll change them out. But they also have a free coffee station right here right next to Boleros, which is also complimentary, is Sorrento's. Sorrento's has pizza all the way up until late at night. So if you drink too much at Boleros, just head on over and grab some pizza. Right next to Sorrento's, which you cannot miss, is Crown and Compass. This is an English style pub. What this pub offers that a lot of the other pubs don't offer on Royal Caribbean is food, which is really cool. Listen up, folks. I'm going to put my 1-800 number there on the screen. If you're interested in booking a Royal Caribbean cruise and receiving a discounted rate with amazing exclusive offers, then give us a call. Let's head on up a deck to deck five and take a look at Wonderland. Before we do, I'd like to give you a layout of this entire deck, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start off at the back. We're going to go by Giovanni and the wine bar. Right here is Midship. Wonderland is over here to the right. Straight ahead is Izumi. That is the sushi place. And all the way towards the front is Schooner Bar. Straight ahead is Focus. And then the theater. So let's go ahead and go back to Wonderland. Here you'll enjoy a six course meal. The setting is based on Alice in Wonderland. Keep in mind that this is part of the specialty dining, which means there is an additional charge. If you'd like to know the charges and get more of a description of the specialty dining venues and all the dining venues, check out the link I'm going to post down below the description of the video. Right next to Wonderland is Izumi. Izumi is a sushi restaurant. Everything here is a la carte. If we look across the deck on the other side, on deck five, still on deck five, you'll see the Bionic Bar. The Bionic Bar is a machine that makes your drinks. No bartender is required, it's easy. Swipe your card, choose your drink, your name will appear on the display. Walk up to the little robot here, swipe your card, and get your drink. This was an inaugural cruise, and there's one thing that's really good about an inaugural cruise. Free drinks. Right next to the Bionic Bar is the Shore Excursions Desk. You can either get excursions before your cruise when you do your online check-in, or you can do it while you're on the ship. Directly across the hall from the Shore Excursions desk is Guest Services. Let's jump on down to Deck 3 and take a look at this venue. It is a favorite among cruisers. I enjoy it myself. I hang out here quite a bit. This is the Music Hall. The Music Hall spans two decks. There's a bar over here on the side, a huge dance floor, Plenty of places to sit down and enjoy the bands. They only offer premium bands, premium music. Upstairs, you'll find, first when you walk in, the sound guy is over to the left. There's another bar up here. There are also a couple of pool tables. So it's quite nice because the band will be playing downstairs and while you're playing pool and hanging out up here, you can enjoy the live music. Now, if we head on out of the music hall, on deck three, We'll go right through the casino. Keep in mind, we're heading toward the back of the ship. You can go down the stairs here on deck four and also get into the casino. It's just another entrance. The bar is right here, right when you walk down the stairs. 
Here you'll find all the card tables, roulette, craps, and all the slot machines. If we walk all the way through the casino, we're gonna walk right into the main dining room. There's only one main dining room. It spans two decks, deck three and deck four. So there are three different types of dining times. There is a 5.30 dining time, an 8.30 dining time, and then there's my time dining. That's what I like to do. I like to be able to go in whenever I want. This right here is Schooner Bar. Schooner Bar is all the way towards the front of the ship. Now, is what's unique about Schooner Bar is it's more tranquil. Here you can enjoy live piano playing and guitar playing, but it's gonna be at a more relaxed level. Right over here at the end, or the beginning of Schooner Bar, depending on which way you come into Schooner Bar, is Chop's Grill. That is the steakhouse. Chop's Grill is part of the specialty dining. You're able to order one entree, but check this out. You can get as many appetizers as you like. Over here is Focus. This is where you'll find the pictures that the photographers take while you're on board the ship. Just swipe your card and check out the photos. Now we're gonna go by the Bionic Bar, the Shore Excursions Desk and Guest Services, and go right on down here toward the back of the ship and take a look at Giovanni's. You can see down into the main dining room from here. Giovanni's is the Italian restaurant. You might wanna try one of their specialty pizzas. They use the highest quality of cheeses and their oven heats all the way up to 900 degrees. That's as hot as you can possibly get it on a cruise ship. All the dishes at Giovanni's are special, especially if you like Italian food. But as what we liked about it was the open air style dining room. Adjacent to Giovanni's is the wine bar. The wine bar also has an open air atmosphere. It opens right up in to deck five. They will offer a variety of wine tastings throughout your voyage, so check that out if you have a chance. If we head on down deck five and go all the way down to the back of the ship, we're gonna go in to 270. This is an entertainment venue and a bar. Right before you get to 270, you're gonna come up to Cafe 270. Cafe 270 is open for breakfast and lunch. They served breakfast pastries, custom salads, delicious sandwiches, and excellent specialty coffee. You can also grab a uh, complimentary coffee here if you like. Is what I liked about it is that it was rarely busy. When you walk out of Cafe 270, you're right in 270, the entertainment venue, where you can relax at the bar, watch entertaining shows, enjoy late night DJs, and participate in the silent party. There is shopping on board. The shopping is mainly on deck four. There is a little bit on deck five, but the shopping is all the way here toward the front of the ship. So here, let's say we leave the main dining room and we walk by Starbucks. We're gonna come right up to the stores. If we keep going, we're gonna run right into the theater. So the theater is all the way at the front of the ship. So there are two venues where you can watch shows in 270 and here in the theater. It's recommended that you make reservations before you even get on the ship. Let's jump up all the way up to deck 15 and take a look at the Cplex. The Cplex is amazing. It's an indoor court surrounded by games, huge screen TVs to watch sports, and a really cool sports bar. Now, down here in the arena, let's say I'm gonna call it, you can ride bumper cars, rollerblade. There's also many different exciting activities that take place here throughout the cruise. Up here is the sports bar. There are wall-to-wall -wall TVs for you to watch your favorite sporting event while you're on board, so you're not gonna miss out on any of those championship games. Keep in mind that the Odyssey of the Seas is part of the Quantum class. There are five ships in that class and all the ships are similar. There are a few differences, but ultimately they're extremely similar in layout. None of the other ones have a Playmaker sports bar in the Cplex though. 
I've placed links of all the sailings down below the description of the video, so check those out when you have a chance. But also remember that if you want the best rate guaranteed, you want a discount on that cab and give us a call. The rates are not posted on our website because these are unpublished rates. And keep in mind that even if you've already booked with the cruise line, you can still give us a call. We can still give you a quote. If you've booked it within 30 days, it's very easy for us to just take over the booking. This is Teppanyaki. This is the Japanese restaurant. This is also part of the specialty dining. Let's head on over to the pool areas. Now, if we go straight down the main pool area, down the deck, we're gonna run right into Local Fresh. It's one of my favorite spots. It's extremely convenient because it's right here at the pool deck. So the aromas of the tacos and the burritos kind of just pull you in while you're hanging out at the pool. I love their salsa bar because they have every different type of salsa that you could imagine. The cool thing about it is that you can just grab your food and walk right back to wherever you are hanging out. For guests who are booked in mini suites or above, or who have reached the pinnacle level, are able to dine in the coastal kitchen. Here in the coastal kitchen, you're gonna find excellent dishes such as salmon, seared duck, filet mignon. Right down the way from the coastal kitchen is the buffet area. The buffet area has coffee stations, drink coffee stations. Is complimentary. Just remember on Royal Caribbean, regular coffee is complimentary all throughout the ship. The buffet is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Interestingly, the buffet changes as the itinerary changes. So right now the ship's over in Greece. They're gonna have more of a Mediterranean style cuisine. Well, let's take a look at the pools. When you first walk in over to the right here is the smoking section. This right here is the main pool area. There are some nice chairs that go right up to the water if you want to relax and put your feet in while you enjoy the sun. There is a hot tub. There's a nice oval shaped hot tub down there. On the other side, over by El Local Fresh is Splash Away Bay. That is the kids splash area. At the foot of the main pool area is the Lime and Coconut Bar. Right next to the Lime and Coconut Bar, kind of hidden over to the side, is Sprinkles, where you can grab a soft serve ice cream. If we go up a deck, you'll find all kinds of cabanas and chairs. There is also another hot tub up here. It has a really good view of the main pool area. If we go up a deck, directly above the lime and coconut bar, there is another bar. Now I like this bar better for just having a few drinks if I wasn't gonna go in the pool because it has a really cool view of the main pool area and you see everybody getting on and off the North Star. The North Star takes you all the way above the pool deck and then takes you on both sides of the ship. It's really cool to do this while you're in port. So let's go by the main pool area and take a look at the other pool area. On the other Quantum Class ships, there's a solarium in this area, so it's closed in. This one is completely open. There's also a hot tub up here, so you can look down on the pool area. There is also a hot tub down on the deck. There's another pool bar right over here. This bar is a little bit more closed in, so if it's sprinkling outside and you want to grab a drink, this is the perfect bar to come to. Let's head on toward the front of the ship, go past the pool area here, and take a look at the solarium. The solarium goes all the way around the front of the ship, so you can either go to the right or to the left. When you walk into the solarium, keep in mind that it is completely closed in. There are windows all the way from the floor to the ceiling. There are pools. So in the middle here, you're gonna have some pools which are not heated. Now, if you look directly to the front, you'll notice that there are awesome views of the ocean. So the solarium here is a perfect place to hang out in when you're at sea. Over here, you can grab a drink at the bar and either hang out at the pools here, which are at room temperature, or you can head all the way up to the front and hang out in one of the hot tubs. At the front of the pools at a room temperature, they have these really comfortable chairs that you can relax in. And then all the way here at the front on either side, you're gonna find the hot tubs. And you can see there's some pretty good views there. 
If you'd like a snack while you're hanging out here in the solarium, you could head right on over to the Solarium Bistro. For breakfast and lunch, it's a complimentary buffet. Then during dinner time, it becomes specialty. What do you say we hit the jogging track? So we're at the front and we're gonna head all the way to the back. We're gonna go by the first pool, then we're gonna go by the main pool. We're gonna keep on going by all the cabanas here and head all the way around to the back. So right here is the sky pad. This is a virtual reality experience where you jump around on elastic cords while you look through virtual reality goggles. Keep in mind, at this point, we are all the way in the back of the ship. So you can see the sky pad to the left and the flow rider right there on the right. On the quantum class ships, there's only one flow rider. Now on the Oasis class ships, there are two flow riders. If you want to see what it's like to skydive, head on in to Ripcord by iFly. You'll just take a quick class and then head on into the simulator. And then right around the corner is the rock climbing wall. If you'd like to get a massage or a treatment, get your nails done, your hair done, guys, you need a beard shave or a haircut, you can head on into the spa. Also, you'll find the fitness center here. It's a full fitness center, so they have treadmills, stair masters, they have machines, they also offer free weights. I like this gym because it's all the way at the front of the ship, so there's really nice views of the ocean while you're working out. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. We are at the end. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you give us a call to get that best rate guaranteed on your cabin. Have a blessed day.